Thanks, guys. Online dating is a popular way to meet people. However, it may not be the answer to happily ever after. Back in 2021, the Fort Collins Police Services began warning people about dating scams after an elderly woman fell victim into giving $20,000 to a stranger. Although her money was able to be returned, dating scams are still prevalent in the community. In this day and age, online relationships are very common. You can meet anyone from just about anywhere. It is important to note, however, that getting scammed is possible. The Fort Collins Police Services recently made a Facebook post that brings awareness to the issue. I asked students around the LSC about their thoughts on online dating and how they know if something is a scam. I mean, generally, they'll come in through either emails or text. Calls, is, they have like the thing where they say, pro yeah. scam likely, yeah. or it'll just be a number that I don't recognize. If I don't recognize a number, I generally just don't pick up. Oh, one of my buddies back home uh, was scammed and actually got his information stolen when he was uh, a little younger. And they like hacked on his uh, Snapchat and all that stuff. But uh, that was actually really tough. And they ended up just deleting his account. I get those like sugar daddy DMs on Instagram, but like they're pretty obviously fake and I've never been scammed by one of those. I mean, usually it's got something wrong with it. Like it'll, I don't know, it'll be like a whack email address or have some links in it that it's telling you to click. Just usually try to stay away from those. Yeah, some grammatical errors. Yeah, like, yeah I also like the way it's worded. Like yeah. it kind of seems like robot-y or like, you know, trying to get a general public area instead of just one person. Yeah, see, oh. just don't give money to people that you don't really know. <laughs> That's what I would say. <laughs> be genuine to who you are and never let anyone uh, influence your decisions and what you think. And in the end, no matter what goes on through your head, it's all up to you. And your mind and your soul is what really matters to them. If you are online, be sure to stay safe and aware with who you are talking to. Back to you guys.